Okay, so I, since Megan is a mother that doesn't have a, a partner to support her at the bedside, I'm gonna call Jessica in to be another side of hand, especially since she has an epidural, okay? So I really go step by step with her. So I say, okay, Megan, I prep her, what we're gonna do. First things first, can you please go to your side? Okay, and then I say, your most of your strength in your body is gonna be in your upper body. So I'm gonna say, push, put this hand, elbow down. Okay, okay put this, and then Meg, um, Jessica and I are gonna help shift her hips. We're gonna bring your knees close to your butt. There you go. And your booty is always gonna be further out than your knees, okay? And something else that, that Megan added is if you position her at this part in the bed, it kind of provides support so that her knees don't slide as much, okay? So, <clears throat> hands and knees. Now the inversion part, and I've had people say, oh, she has an epidural, it's not safe for her head to go down, but she's only doing that for 20 or 30 minutes. I've never had someone yeah, have an I, issue, especially if they've done the test where the spinal is not, they don't have a spinal dose, it's not causing those weird neurological symptoms of like, um, cardiac. Yeah, that we would be having other things going on if that were true. So I'm gonna have you put your head down, and then and then she's usually like, I don't know what to do with my arm. I don't know what to do with my arm. Okay. <laughs> and she's like, Are you sure? Or like, she'll her knees will slide. So then we like support her knees, and this comes naturally to Megan, but for other people, it's. It's hard for them to even imagine like sticking their booty up. So I have to say like, pop your booty into the air. You know, cause people will be like this, like, and then they'll be laying like, yeah. So I, <laughs> so I want her, and then she'll be like, I don't know, I can't do this. And I kind of remind her, this is gonna help. This is gonna make pushing faster. This is gonna make everything easier, okay? And I tell her, I time it either by contraction or I say for 20 minutes, we're gonna do this. Oh God, no, I can't, you can't do that for 20 minutes. My triceps would fall off. <laughs> Is that what the patient says? No, well, that's, that's what, what I would say. <laughs> well then, so then lean your arms forward oh, onto oh. the pillow. Like that. Forward leaning inversion. Yes. I was talking about shaking the apples, I'm sorry. So, and then you wanna relax your, yes. relax your shoulders. Yeah, sink into the bed. And then this is, usually I'll like make a knot into each side, but whatever it is, I don't know. And then I kind of hammock this under her butt, yep, like this. And then I have Jessica, or I have her partner, do opposite. And then we kind of shape like this. And the thing that, that her partner doesn't really understand, you have to be like aggressive with this. Like it's not like enough to go like this. Like I'm literally like, yep, it's full body. Like making these Bicep ligaments workout. stretch. And I try to teach her partner how to do it as well. So you can use it with a sheet like this. Um, sometimes if there's a doula, she'll use a rebozo. Um, I also will sometimes go like this. I ask permission. I say, is it okay if I touch you? And I describe what I'm gonna do. I'm massaging your hips and your butt to help those ligaments stretch open. And the four leaning inversion part is really important because we're bringing the head back up so that it can rotate and turn and descend. So the strong contractions, greater than seven centimeters, so that the head is already molded a little. So when we lift it back out of the pelvis, then we can write the correction so that it can start rotating. So I also can do this. I do that a lot. Sometimes I have people like play music and they can like, and it really yeah, just helps them so. relax. Okay, do you have anything else to add? I will even just find the ischials yeah. and just pop it. Or even like push, yep. push, 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 push up like this. Because yep. as the head is coming down, you're doing counter pressure, you're like opening up the tight spot where the yep. head is getting and I'll just step up here. I'll do some like this. Angle. And again, it's like with consent. Make sure that they are comfortable with you touching them. Right. I do forget that. I, I'm a touching person, so most of the time I'm always massaging. 
So I don't think I've offended anybody, but I, I do. Uh, that's what I'm trying to work on. Yep. Myself. Me too. I okay. need to work on that. Cut.